cars out of the picture because he has a fight coming up. Johnny Gonzalez is the one to beat, man. Do you want that fight? It would be a great fight, I believe. I believe it would be a, a good fight, a competitive fight, a fight the fans would love to see. Um, you know, he's a, a tall opponent, knockout puncher. You know, uh, he's a veteran in the ring as well as myself. And uh, one punch for both of us could end the fight, you know. Uh, I think our fight, our styles would make 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 up for a good good uh, good competitive uh, showing. And let me throw another name out there. At a catch weight, would you be willing to jump to 128, 129 against a Walmart Lopez since he's a Golden Boy right now? You know, the way I see it, man, I'm at the end of my career, towards the end of my career, and uh, I I showed in this last fight that I can make 126 pounds. Uh, the only reason I ever moved up to 130 pounds was because of the opportunity they gave me to fight Mark 120 Barrera for the WBC title at that time. I was a young fighter. Um, I was undefeated at, uh, no, I'm sorry, I had one defeat in my record at that time. And I felt like uh, the opportunity I couldn't pass up. But now that at 34, I'm, I'm, I'm having no problem making 126. I'm having no problem making 126. Um, I would love to stay at 126. Okay. You know, I would love to stay at 126, but uh, who, I, I can't say. You know, I mean, who, who knows? You know, I would love to fight Johnny Gonzalez for the WBC World Title or the uh, I believe that, but they call him the uh, Mexican Russian. I don't know his name. That would be. A, I, I believe that would be a good competitor to fight also. So, I, you know, any opportunity I could get, I, I, I would take.